Order. It was a day filled with emotions in Parliament as the motion to oust Mythical Inturi as Agriculture Cabinet Secretary was tabled. How long do you want the members of the public to suffer? It will soon turn to be a heated debate between those supporting his ouster over the fake fertilizer scandal, rocking his ministry and those defending him to remain in office. If Honorable Inturi in this matter was clear in his mind that he is clean, that he has not done any wrongdoing. Why did he go and prepare a state, a, a press conference, a press release through CEO of National Cereals and Produce Board to force, honorable speaker, to try and force innocent business people to admit liability on his behalf? It paints a picture of a wrong public servant. Somebody is basically sabotaging, sabotaging the very, very survival of this country. And the cabinet secretary cannot feign ignorance. Because if he feigns ignorance, then he is not fit to hold that office. Then he is unfit. Then he is incompetent. NCPB rushes to pay for this fertilizer. It basically tells you that somebody powerful was, was pulling the strings behind the scenes. If I am that house boss, being reported here on an extortion spree, would it be fair for us to impeach myself if that house boss is the Honorable Wamboka, the mover of this motion? How fair would it be for me to move the house to impeach the Honorable Wamboka on the basis of a newspaper article from a gossip quorum like this one, Honorable Speaker? We cannot use the basis of newspaper reports to impeach anybody. I call upon the house to reject this particular motion because of the fact that the same matter is seized by the same house and we await um, the outcome in a parliamentary report that will be tabled here which we are going to report and in which we will make our recommendations. When it was voting time, majority of members in the house voted in favor of the motion tabled by Bumula legislator Jack Wamboka and a special committee to investigate the grounds for removal formed. Kenyans what? and watch your member of parliament and how they vote. Those that vote against this bill are people that must go home. 2027 is coming. Support the motion so that we have that committee so that it says the minister is not culpable. What we are dealing with is more than criminal responsibility. What we are accusing the minister is what we call culpable maladministration. So such a level of duping is unacceptable and the minister has to go home. And after impeachment, he should be jailed. He should be tried and jailed. And possible compensation initiated so that all farmers can actually get value of their money. Atuta wachulia hapo, mpaka wote watimuluwe mamulatana. Wakuongoza inji vibaya, ulenturi, kwa ishma yako, na ishma inji, ujiondoe mapema. And we are saying the time has come for leaders to be held accountable. And Wanalinturi na wote waliohusika kuleta mbolea fake Kenya must be held accountable. The 11 member committee tasked with the heavy mandate of deliberating on the impeachment of a CS, the first under President William Ruto's government, has 10 days to give a report which will make or break Linturi. This house approves the appointment of the following members to the select committee to investigate the grounds contained in the resolution of the House. One, Honorable Naomi Jilo Wako, CBS MP. Two, all the Honorable Members. Two, Honorable Robert Mbui, CBS MP. Three, Honorable Rachel Nyamai, CBS MP. Four, Honorable Samuel Kiprono, Chepkonga MP. Honorable George Kitonga, Murugare MP. Honorable T.J. Kajuang MP. Yes. Honorable Moses Maluli Njend MP. No. Honorable Jen Njeri Maina MP. No. Honorable Kasim Standaza MP. No. Honorable Catherine Omanya MP. Yes. Honorable Yusuf M. Farah MP. Joel Chacha K24 TV, Nairobi.